Splendid. That house frau's cheap rayon blouses will make a serviceable parachute should I need to abandon my jet in mid-flight. Once it's built, of course. Rupert, did you call that engineer at Lockheed yet? Oh, of course you didn't, you worthless little... There, see what you made me do. You think I enjoy hitting you? Well, actually, I do. I enjoy it so much, I'm going to do it again. You ready down there? Okay, Meg, if this works, then we might just have a chance of getting Stewie back. Are you ready? No, ready! Okay, here we go. Got it! Cool! Asball! Peter, it worked! We found the portal to the other side! Ah! Peter, what the hell are you doing up there? So what do you call this device, Paul? It's an iron lung. It keeps me from dying. I want to play baseball! And with me is one of Paul's classmates, Chris Griffin, who helped organize this charity event. You're a very thoughtful young man, Chris. Can, can I say hello to my mom? Sure. Hi, Mom! Hi, sweetheart. Hey, Peter, my thing went off. Your thermostat okay? Yeah, it's all right. Hey, is my kid over here? Forget it, false alarm. Whoa, ass ahoy. Hey, uh, Peter, it's 7 o'clock and you've still got your pants on. What's the occasion? He's going to a stag party. Now, Lois, I work hard all week to provide for this family. I am the man of the house, and as the man, I order you to give me permission to go to this party. Look, at least promise me you won't drink. Alcohol always leads to trouble. Huh, you're just mad about the car. Don't worry. I'll think of a way to fix it. No, we'll think of a way to fix it. I'm tired of being left out of all our decision-making. Okay, honey. <coughs> By the way, I bought a chimp. Oh, my God, you were really gonna do it. I, but you, you... Nurse! This dog is trying to kill me! Nurse! You are twisted, lady. You, you hear me? You are screwed up in the head. Peter, everyone lies at those things. Just tell them you're a big shot. Wait a second, Joe. That's a great idea. Boy, imagine what it would be like to be a big shot. Diego! Sweaty. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh. They absolutely love your book. The simplistic writing style is very graspable to them. Here's your award. I made it all by myself. Thanks. Hey, Brian, smell my finger. I, 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 I already can. For God's sakes, help! Do something! Ah, oh, if you don't like starfish, you're going to be mad about what I just did. Oh, God, help! Oh, you're in for it now, buddy. I got like five fish coming to help. Oh, oh, here they are. Help! He's hurting me! Well, maybe you shouldn't have let him on. Peter, it sounds to me like alcohol is a very destructive influence in your life. You need to relinquish your dependence and give yourself over to a higher power. <laughs> you have a different view, Brian? Oh, I, I don't know. Are we, are we allowed to have a different view? Brian, AA is the only way out for these people. Millions are saved every year by the program. Hey, people got along just fine for thousands of years without AA. Just like they got along for thousands of years without religion. <gasps> You're a college dropout? Brian, the New Yorker does not employ your kind. You, sir, are fired. No dogs allowed. I prayed for you, Max Weinstein, and here you are! Okay. Listen, uh, thanks for letting me use the phone. Thanks for space balls. Yeah, well, if there's anything I can ever do for you... You can't leave! Hey! And that's why we're going to be handing out these Opal rings. These rings are a symbol of your commitment to refrain from sex until you're married. So what do you say? Who wants to be joyful? Who wants to be pure? Who wants to be abstinent? Wow, he makes so much sense. I know. He's a visionary. Like Gandhi or Mozart or Picasso. Jeez, Brian, I don't know how much longer I can last. It's been a whole week since I've seen a TV show. Huh. I wonder what Scooby and the gang are up to right now. We now return to the Scooby-Doo murder files. Gee whiz, gang. Looks like the killer gutted the victim, strangled him with his own intestines, and then dumped the body in the river. Jinkies, what a mystery. <laughs> You're right, Scoob. We're dealing with one sick son of a bitch. Hey, buddy, I think that girl likes me.
Of course she does. She's your wife. Do you like her? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, you know, this isn't going to be easy, you guys. We're going to have to reteach your father everything he's forgotten. Hey, have you heard this awesome new song? No! I will a bird, bird, bird. A bird, a winner, will a bird, bird, bird. A bird, a winner, will a... Peter, the toilet paper is made of money. Yeah, and look at this. They even got some of that high-class British porn. Almost. 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 There we are. Well done. The only thing remaining is the oral test, which I will administer here. Now, question number one. Who discovered America? Dick York? No. Dick Sargent. It was Dick Sargent. Ah. Uh, question number two. Complete this sentence. The land of the free and the home of the blank. Home of the whopper? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Griffin, if you were truly an American, you would know our national anthem. Now, wait a minute. He is too an American. We've been married for almost 20 years. Stewie, can I take this goddamn headband off? No, LeVar, you're blind. That's the only way you can see. I'm just saying they have all the ingredients for a McDeal. Just hang on, all right? There's a lot of us. There's a lot of... It's a big order. What time do they stop serving breakfast? It's three o'clock. Some of them serve breakfast all day. No, they don't serve breakfast all day! Do they have beer? Peter, Quagmire has a name for that cabin. He calls it his sex cabin. No, he doesn't. He calls it the Stuff It In. Oh, my God, I can't believe you knew about this and you let her go. Hey, don't give me that crap. I'm doing exactly what you told me to do. You said don't mess with her business, so I didn't. Peter, this is different. It's one thing to rebelliously flaunt an older guy in front of your parents, but it's a whole other thing to go away with him for the weekend to his sex cabin. What the hell is this, Brian? It's my new passport. What, what are you doing going through my mail? You weren't planning on going somewhere with her $26, were you? Oh, for God's sake, I just had the damn thing renewed. What's the matter with you? Look here, you're obviously taking us for saps, but we're not. Now fess up or I'll do to you what I did to John Lennon. John, have you met Yoko? Yoko, John? You want your money? Fine. I hope you all kill each other. You! I am taking your brain. You are now my slave. No! Ah! Why is he freaking out like that? Oh, he's having a little hallucination from the fever. Just like when you were three and you accidentally ate those adult brownies I was saving for the Doobie Brothers concert. Peter, good to see you. Come with me. I've got a lot of tall, statuesque people I want you to meet. What's that? Oh, that's my son, Chris. He can't come in. <laughs> He's fat. Well, let me tell you something, buddy. If my son can't come in, then I'll just come in. See you at home. But, Dad... Trust me, Chris. Sometimes it's better not to fit in. You're all stupid. See, they're gonna be looking for army guys. Room service. I didn't order no room service. It's complimentary. We have a club sandwich, a fruit plate, and a side of hot beef steak. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <gasps> Glenn Quagmire, you get out of here. Come on, baby. Time for round two. Oh, 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 you're the devil. You ruined my marriage. What kind of birdhouse can you build with popsicles, roofies, and a mallet? It's for a rare African bird called None Your Business. Hi, Meg. Can I help you? Hands in the air, Goldman! Oh my god! What are you doing? Give me your money! Here, here! Just take this jar for the leukemia kids! I don't give it to them anyhow! Uh-huh. You're watching the show, the ducks are saying stuff, you're yucking it up, you're laughing, your sides are hurting, all of a sudden you realize you're feeling something too. When did that happen? When did the handy quacks become people I care about? When did they become like welcome guests in your home whose weekly visits the whole family eagerly awaits? Take a look at what we got, Peter. Look who's stuck on the couch again. I'm not stuck on the couch. Okay, Mr. Cranky. One, two, three. There we go. You didn't need me. You did that yourself. Good for you. You need anything else? No, fine. Thank you. Okay, you guys have fun. Uh, oh, damn it. I meant hold it, not cut it off. You weren't specific. I've never done this before. Are you okay, Brian? Yeah, I'm just so happy to meet you both. Uh, what the hell are you- I'm cauterizing your tail. Trust me, I'm a nurse. Brian? What's going on over there? I think they burned our dinner. Oh, God, it hurts. It hurts, Stewie. Ah! <gasps> and now I will take off this protective potato head mask. Oh, 
Peter, he looked like you. I can't believe you're all still standing by my side after what a jerk I was. Especially to you. I'm sorry, Chris. That's okay, Dad. Well, Peter, I guess you learned a pretty valuable lesson. Nope. Mr. Griffin, this dog is a danger to society, albeit an articulate and charismatic one. But the law is the law, and it cannot be circumvented by pretty words. I'll give you each 20 bucks. Deal, he can go. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Mistrial, damn you, mistrial! 